I will reveal my secrets why I am capable of handling these situations as calm as I'm doing. So welcome to Drone Confrontation Survival 101. There's no doubt that you can blame a few irresponsible idiots that have been ruining it for every one of us, magnified by the sensational press among the general public. But without turning this into a psychology lesson, we can look at some of the factors that actually make people react and interfere with your drone flying. Where the biggest one is probably invasion of privacy. People often feel when they see a drone in the air, not understanding the technology completely and the capabilities that they are being watched by the drone in the sky. And nobody likes to be watched unless they have given their permission to it. In many cases, they have very high thoughts of themselves that I would even or you would even spend time on filming them. So in 99 out of 100 cases, it's really unjustified that they are being watched. Nature people, they don't like drones in general unless it serves their purpose of sort of monitoring remote areas. But in general, they think that drones are disturbing the wildlife. So this could be the reason why they want to interfere with the drone pilot. Then there's the obvious one with noise in urban areas. Of course, having a drone that is sipping around uh, where people are sitting enjoying the peace in their gardens might take off some people and spawn a confrontation. And then of course there's a joke better know that in all cases like to tell people what they're allowed to do and what they're not allowed to do. There's probably more funny name profiles that you could come up with. Let me know your best guess in the comments below. But my advice is that think about where you are flying. It's very easy to take the stand that you have the law on your side that you are allowed to fly in the area that you have picked. But don't be an ass and respect that not all people have the same passion for drones. And that the knowledge in the general public is very low in terms of understanding what the drones are capable of. Let's look at some examples. You are allowed to fly on the shore, on the water side near a beach. But I will bet if you fly, even though you are allowed to do this along the shoreline, where people are more or less half naked on the beach, enjoying their day off, you will get into trouble even though you're perfectly allowed to do so. The same goes with recreational areas. People are often here to relax and hang out and have a good time with the family. So they will very easily get offended as they feel you are invading their privacy. Also, if you decide to fly inside the city or a square with a lot of people, I bet you that will kick off some reactions too. I know you're not allowed to fly over crowds uh, with drones below 250 grams, at least in Europe. But if the people are scattered, there is no legal reason not to do so. But I bet you this will kick off some reactions. Maybe I should go to the center of Copenhagen and test out that theory next. Can you mention another location where you are perfectly allowed to fly, but you know for sure will kick off a drone confrontation? Even if you're taking all the precautions that we just talked about, you can still end up with a Ken or Karen approaching you. And I gotta tell you up front, if you have not experienced this before, this is not very pleasant. My first real encounter with the Birdman completely ruined a perfectly well-planned mission and the following evening as I was totally surprised about this incident as I had picked a remote location to be able to be left alone to do my flying. But I was lucky to capture that one on camera as well as a few others so I could share those situations for you here on the channel. It's very, very easy when you're sitting behind the keyboard watching these videos to be very wise what you should do and what you shouldn't do. But you will not have much time to think when it actually happens. So it's important that you have a clear path that you can execute without thinking. Start out by being friendly and accept that this can happen. Your first action is to land your drone. They're literally breaking the law by interfering in your active drone flight. But don't tell them that just tell them that you need to land the drone and then take your time to do that because that will buy you some valuable time to regroup and rethink about the next step. It's essential that you know the rules, but don't enter into endless discussions with a person that don't know them. It's very easy for a recreational flyer or somebody that's new to the hobby to become insecure and uncertain of the rules if a person is approaching you very strongly. To deal with that, either Print out the rules on a piece of paper to be handed over or print out a copy of the rules and then put them on your car or somewhere where people can go read them. Ask them to go and read them and you will be happy to continue the discussion afterward. I picked up this tip from some of you because to be perfectly transparent with you, I have a very bad stat 
at actually explaining the rules to people that are coming on strong. So having them on print is a much better version. And of course, it should not be four pages with tiny small letters. Just make a simple one pager with the most common rules and restrictions. Where also you could decide to wear a reflective vest that will make it look more official when you are flying. That might help mitigate some of the situations as well. This does not work in all situations, but it's very easy to get caught up because you think the person approaching you is completely unreasonable to escalate the situation. I did pass away, did you see it? They're full still, they're wild, they're wild, 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 wild. But that will not help you, I tell you. So try and see if you can find a way to de-escalate it. But in cases where this does not work, your last resort is to call the local authorities. Put them on speaker and calmly explain the situation. Tell them who you are, where you are, what you are flying, and that you are a certified drone pilot and your flight has been interrupted by, and then ask the person approaching you to identify themselves in front of the officer. I bet that would take care of 99% of the persons that are approaching you. Many of them will bail out even before you get to the point where they have to mention their name. Some would say, well, you can just ignore the person. But I tell you, this requires a really, really strong personality to be able to ignore a person while you are performing a flight and not something most of us will be able to pull off. Remember, regardless what the person is saying, unless he is from the local authority, he does not have the right to see any kind of uh, certificate or documentation. But sometimes it will actually help showing the person your FAA or your EASA drone certificate. So even though you don't have to, it can help de-escalate the situation. What have you experienced and how did you deal with the drone police? I am looking forward to read your experience in the comments below. I hope you liked this video. If you did, then feel free to give it a like. If you didn't like it, feel free to press the dislike button twice. Thank you for watching and I'll be seeing you around.